Teddy bears, a wedding gown, a garden gnome for goodbyes, a red coat, an hourglass, brass, keys, a Frankfurt city map, even an old axe. All of these things have found their place at the Zagreb Museum of Broken Relationships. Instead of throwing things away after the end of an emotional connection, the founders of this private project, artists Dražen Grubišić and Dolin Kavistica, offer broken-hearted people the option of donating an object, a gift or a memory that reminds them of a past love. The idea of the project was born after Grubišić and Vistica ended their own relationship. What is interesting is that people have preconceptions before they come here, but when they come, they say the museum is not what they expected. That means this is not something superficial for kids, which people often think it is. This year the museum won the award from the European Museum Forum for the most innovative European museum. In recent years, the museum has been touring the world and each of their stops in other cities created huge interest and excellent reactions. The museum has visited 25 cities worldwide since 2007 and there are now over 1,000 objects to choose from, many of which have been collected during the museum's tour. The museum has found a permanent home in Zagreb's old town near the Croatian parliament and has become a must-see destination for tourists. In a space of about 300 square meters, some 100 objects are on display. From the trivial to the bizarre, all of them are, however, unique. The Museum of Broken Relationship is the true novelty in the cultural and historical offer of the city of Zagreb. This is precisely because of its innovative concept founded on emotions with which we can all easily identify. There is a great interest in both the museum's tours as well as the permanent exhibition in Zagreb. I like it, especially parts like these video recordings. There is interesting stuff worth seeing here. You enchanted me, but you didn't want to sleep with me. I realized how much you loved me only after you died of AIDS. It lasted 300 days too long. He gave me his mobile so I couldn't call him anymore. The stories carry the project, apart from getting insights into a relationship between two people, which is always unique. One also gets insights into a broader context of culture, religion, the outside forces that affected the relationship. It is an interesting journey through the world of that story. If you have ever had a broken heart, come to Zagreb. That is what the people who have already seen the exhibition say. The museum founders have succeeded. Instead of giving in to anger and fighting at the end of their relationship, they created an original and brave museum, where visitors are able to see, through someone else's sorrow, that they are certainly not alone in the pains of love.